Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. Hello, good evening to you, and part of the story here is the Albite Stadium by night, 60,000 capacity here. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry, and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's England against the United States. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford is the keeper. Trent Alexander Arnold plays with Ben Chilwell in the fullback positions. Jude Bellingham starts alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And the main striker today is Harry Kane. Here's how it looks for the United States. Yeah, the same formation and the same sort of game plan. So this will all be about which individuals can get the better of their opponent. This will be a tough battle. And the contest begins. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. No problems grabbing hold of that one. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. What are you expecting to see from him, Stuart? Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal scorer needs. Composure, technique and awareness. He will certainly need to be tightly marked today. And it might be. Oh, fine stop. And over comes the corner. Not really the ideal clearance. Danger averted for now. Oh, he's through here. And there it is. The opening goal. 1-0. And they'll feel they deserve it. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And what a clinical finish this is. Hit with such power by Sterling. Not much chance for the keeper there. It's a great goal. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here.
showing a real will to win the ball. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. Kane! Well, the keeper had to concentrate. <laughs> Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Keeper getting the touch. They won't complain about having won the corner and maybe an opportunity to increase their advantage. And now the delivery. Really good piece of goalkeeping there. He's going to be disappointed with that pass. Jesus Ferreira. It's way up on the ball. Ferreira. Oh, stylish ball. What can they do now? Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. Well, as you can see, England haven't had that much of the ball. But when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. Always going to be the goalkeeper's ball. And the United States recovering possession well. Tackle completely missed time, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. Taking it away. Can they hit on the break? All in all, a broken counter-attack. Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. Robinson. And the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, in a word for Raheem Sterling so far, positive. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. So back underway here, advantage England after the first 45, but plenty of time for a few twists and turns before this one is over. And he has options available, and credit is due for that good piece of defending. Pereira. And it's with McKenney. Not a classic example of how to intercept. On the offensive. Stones. And using his body to good effect. A routine save. Well, a joy to watch. Well, defending always has to be a team effort. Good piece of covering. Now well, keeper getting both gloves on the ball. Sterling. That's a nice-looking ball. 
That's high-level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good keeper. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Over it comes. Well, thumps clear. Terrific block. Useful looking ball. Oh, it was a terrible looking challenge. And a big decision for the official here. And the referee does send him off. No arguments there. Well, no complaints really, but they need to reorganize now and quickly. This might be ideal for the counter. Can they keep it going? Delivered into the area here. And they deal with the threat this time. Well, that's how to beat your opponents. Well, going for power from there, but not worrying the goalkeeper in the slightest. And time for the change now. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. And whipped into the box. Not a very complicated catch for the keeper. England moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Now with five minutes remaining and just one goal between them, still the prospect of late excitement in this match. This could finish it, but no, the chance goes a begging, goodness gracious me. Well, you just wonder, will that come back to haunt them? He has to do better there. How can they find a late leveller? Now, this could be productive. Superb block. Great block again. And there goes the final whistle. Very acceptable from an England point of view. A victory here. Stuart, your thoughts on their performance? Yes, Derek. There wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends. But they probably just about edged it overall and deserve the result in the end. Well, Raheem Sterling has so many admirers in the game, and it's easy to see why based on this performance, I think, Stuart. Well, he obviously scored the winning goal, but it was his overall performance that impressed me most. He was on fire today.